everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book review spread for Emily Dickinson's poems. I actually somehow read all of her poems in March. There were 17, 75 of them. Um, some to greater detail than others, but it definitely was a very thorough undertaking and um, I'm very glad I did it. Um, it's been a while since I did something that felt kind of rigorous and school adjacent almost, and I definitely want to try and do something like this at least once a month where I'm reading something that's fairly serious and fairly um, kind of classic, where my brain is really having to exercise. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to be doing this spread based on her poems. So one of the undercurrents of her poetry was her affection and love for her sister-in-law, Sue, Susan Gilbert. Um, she's written several poems addressing Sue by name uh, in kind of this unrequited love story. Um, you get the sense that she loves Sue, and Sue kind of has accepted that her lot in life is, um, I'm married to Emily's brother. Um, so, so Emily is kind of pining for Sue, but I went with this um, tragic love story kind of theme for the spread and used some uh, greens and browns and classic kind of handwriting to evoke that, you know, ancient feeling. The reason I decided to read Emily Dickinson uh, this March was actually I've been obsessed with um, Taylor Swift's album Evermore. Uh, I love Taylor Swift and one of the songs on Evermore that I can't stop listening to is Ivy, which according to fan theory is actually based on Emily Dickinson's relationship with Sue. Um, Ivy kind of tells the story of a woman who's trapped in this marriage and she has this huge life-changing love for this other person but she's kind of trapped in the marriage um, and uh, some of the kind of hints in the song either in the metadata or in the lyrics uh, were relating to Emily Dickinson so like the album was released on Emily Dickinson's birthday uh, one of the main poems that Emily uses that refers to um, Sue ends in the line, Sue forevermore, and the album is actually called Evermore that uh, Taylor released. Um, yeah, so, so there's a couple of interesting little hints and connections there, and I think I actually read that uh, one of Taylor Swift's friends, um, Haley Steinfeld, is actually plays the part of Emily Dickinson in, in a show that uh, came out this past year, so Taylor probably saw that. I haven't seen the show yet, um, but it makes sense to me, and yeah, so I was kind of fascinated with the song Ivy and with their whole love story in general. Um, I'm thinking about actually starting a music bullet journal where I might do spreads based on single songs. I thought about incorporating the lyrics to Ivy into this spread, but I decided it isn't technically Emily Dickinson. That's Taylor Swift. So I wanted to maintain kind of the purity here and, and keep this just Emily Dickinson. Um, but yeah, that was my thought process there.
So that is my spread for Emily Dickinson's poems. I had a great time making this spread and reading the poetry. Um, she is a classic for a reason. She has such enduring um, taste and her images are so beautiful. She writes so well about nature and love and um, all of these haunting little personifications. So yeah, I highly recommend maybe not reading all of Emily Dickinson's poems unless you uh, really want to give yourself a big task, but I definitely recommend picking up maybe an abridged copy or a selection of, of her poems. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.